And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved in the Encore series. Uh, all right, I have researched the magma bar, uh, and the other two cryoplasm defense researches just to get to this one. 512 chrome, 512 molly, 512 compressed freeze on. Ouchie poos. That one hurts. I also want to do nuclear nuclear power. So, I, I mean, I've got everything here. The 256 Heimel blocks, I've got all of that. But I want to get perfect vein extraction going first. So that is going to be a ton of chromium. I, I've got it. I've got everything that I need. Um, I just did a round trip, went through all my caves, and uh, got all the gas that I needed. Uh, let's make this a little easier on ourselves. And we're going to put a one-type hopper here. And could probably do it here as well. But let's do it over here first. So this is a one type hopper, which is fine. Um, we are gonna set this little guy to freeze on. And we're going to, dun, 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 we're gonna shift click that and do 512. And then we're gonna drag this over to here. And that will empty out into all of that. Over here, I kind of want to do the same thing. This guy's got to go. Unfortunately. Uh, and then it is Molly and Chrome. So, first, let's set it. And then 512. Oh, it saves the number. Grab you in there. And that will distribute that around. Okay, so you've got a little bit of stuff left to go. I could put another one of these over here and do the molly. So let's drag and drop the molly. Oh! No! 512. 512. Okay, let's fire off the perfect vein extraction. 512, all of that material is in the system ready to be ready to be processed. Not too worried about that. Lots of lots of materials for this thing to pick from. And uh, we'll let that we'll let that run. I did build a system down in the magma caves uh, for the uh, sulfur. And so now we've got some sulfur supply, which is eh, decent. It's a decent amount for uh, what we need. We don't really need a lot, but I just built the standard um, 8211 setup that I did two times prior. Uh, okay, so cryoplasm dazzler definitely want that there's the build gun v3 i think you get that with the magma bore um but yeah that's the build gun v3 that's what the care package gives you cryoplasm melter i definitely want that cryo mine don't really have a lot of use for the cryo mines dun, dun, dun. magma bore component I'm eventually going to need that. It's going to be a while before I'm going to be able to build that thing. It is a beast. There's my Cryoplasm Dazzler one-click craft. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to need some more Dubalakis here. I need another line of those. I'd like to have another setup for those. Just because a lot of the tier two, like the the conduits and stuff, use a lot of those Mark III lasers. Um, I'm looking for there it is. 
I don't know why I was looking that way for it. So yeah, this this uses two lasers for every three. So that's three crafts. So it's six lasers. Six lasers to craft um, one conduit. And you need two conduits to even be functional. So that's 12 lasers just right off the top, right away. Uh, just to build that, just to get a conduit set up running. Uh, let's see. And as far as batteries go, we're using quite a lot. I've actually used all of my Mark IV battery components already. So, uh, we're going to take you and you. And we're going to make a few more. Five, six, seven. I don't have another 25, so I know I don't have another set. Now, I'm not picking up bug parts, am I? That would, that would disappoint me. So, machine block wise, I've added another crafter up here for the advanced uh, machine blocks. So, we've got another crafter sitting up here, which is going over because this emptied out. This completely emptied all of my advanced out in order to make the imbued, which I'm using to make the magnetic and the chrome machine blocks. So, yeah, it's taken a bit. How, how's this thing doing? Oh, it's got a while to go. So, let's see if we can start defending ourselves here. So, if we go to defenses... Dazzler. So this thing uses 16 lasers, 16 lenses, 27 imbued machine blocks, and compressed sulfur, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get sulfur up and running. How about that? Uh, so let's craft uh, two of these. Crafting. And then I want a bunch of melters. Uh, we're going to craft Crafting. Crafting. 50 of those for now. Uh, we're going to craft, well, let's craft six, and then, uh, oh, might as well craft that many, whatever. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. There. Uh, okay, cryoplasm melter. Cryo mine, don't really need. Cryoplasm dazzler. This is what we're going for here. Now, ideally, I'd have a different power setup going. I'd have nuclear power by now. So we can either get to work on nuclear power or start defending the cryoplasm or start defending from the cryoplasm. Because uh, this thing's got a ways to go before we're able to upgrade those beautiful, beautiful things. Um, so, yeah, let's go down to the cold caves. Da, da, da. This thing is pointing over here. This is our most urgent urgent situation here as far as power over here goes now normally I'd like to put a nuclear reactor in between these two batteries and that would be ample amounts of power but we don't really have the ability to do that all right I'm officially going to clear all but those bars out of there so I want dazzler batter no battery let's do battery Dazzler, Melter, Lancer. And we're going to have uh, Chlorine and Sulfur. Oh, uh, what about Sulfur? So the Dazzlers can be fired back here. I want to do... Just so the Dazzlers don't fire going this way, because that would be bad. That would be bad news for everybody. Um, 
how can I get a little trickle of power over here? Uh, let's see. You and you. And you and you. So we're going to come over here. I want to do you and you. Okay, so this one. I know there's a battery in there somewhere. There it is. Okay. Um, let's go battery. Now this is not nearly enough power. I mean, not even close. So we're just sort of making do. Okay, ambience, go away. That is just annoying. Uh, okay. So, a little bit of power. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of power that goes into one of those. Like, a lot, a lot of power. But, we're going to need it. And this is where a lot of lasers come in. Because we want a laser there. Laser there. Laser there. But I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how f far out or how close this cryo would get before we started beating it back. So I made sure that there was a long, a long way to go. Just in case we had to fight it. Because uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of it in there. I mean, there's, there's quite a bit. So uh, we need now to put some power down the middle of this thing. And again, this is usually where a reactor comes into play. And there's just a drop off. Okay. That makes things a little bit more complicated. Not impossible, not impossible though. It's like so. Uh, we need some power. I think if I go because it's going to go right up the middle here so there's my battery so if I do a battery there actually no that doesn't really work too well Let's just do a laser here and there. Come on, there you go. Now remember, always cover those. There. It needs to be out of the way, so when I put the reactor right there, it doesn't. It's not in the way of anything. Okay, so as you can see, the batteries on the bottom are one the ones getting the charge. The ones on the top are passively getting a charge. Uh, so I want to do... Yeah, I did one there. Two melters, start us out. And then I want 
want the Dazzlers back here. Now, uh, be aware that these things are not quiet. And my sound on my game is already turned way down, so... So these things, I mean, these things hold 250,000 power, so they will almost completely drain that Mark IV battery below it. Um, but they rotate on all northeast, southwest, looking for cryo. And as you can see, it's rotating in a new direction. And there it is. It'll find it, and it'll start killing it. Now, if the if the brightness is a little too much. Type detail space bloom, and it'll it'll tamp that down a little bit. It'll still be bright, but it won't be so bloomy that you can't actually see anything. The melters melt the cryo down to the the trench, and then the the dazzlers clear it out from there. Oh. And a little tip. Oh, it's still it's still clear in cryo all the way down the line there. As you can see, it's still it's still clear in it. Uh, now a little tip. If you want to get stuff that's way up there, I want to wait for this thing to actually be done. Because if I walk down there, it'll be oh man, floatiness. Do something like this, okay, and then control click glass under the top. Now that will build up to where it can't actually build. So you can then take the top of that, put a, put a melter on the top, because you can't build on the cryo itself. You can't, you can't build anything on that. And that will get you a little bit more height for clearing more cryo, which is good. And we have the laser beams going. So yeah, there's a little bit of cryo that we're gonna have to melt out here. Looks like it just wrapped around that Yeah, it's just wrapped around that beam up there. And of course, there's no light back in here because the cryo has completely drained all of my batteries for light. Ooh, look at all that cryo over here. I mean, there's a lot of it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, the Dazzlers will kill you very quickly, as a matter of fact. All right, here's another round. Clear out a bunch of that stuff. Wow, this really, really filled in over here. Should we extend this? Let's extend this one. Gotta try to do this quick. Otherwise, cryo will fall into that hole and it'll be hard to get rid of. There we go. Now we're clearing some cryoplasm. There we go. Nice. Cleared it all out of here. So there's no there's none more none more. There's no more poking through the walls. 
We still have quite a bit lingering on the outskirts, though. It's concerning that they spread so far when it hit the wall. It started spreading out. Because then it can poke through really anywhere. As you can see, there's some way back in here. Wow, there's a lot of cryoplasm that was right there. The melter is just going to town. Now we're expanding it a little bit. Yeah, I didn't expect it to build that high up. So this melter might not be enough. Then this is where power is a problem. Because... This thing wants to fire, but it's getting, it's only getting power from those, you know, these little rinky dink lasers. So it takes them a while to charge up. Cleared out. It always, it always feels so good when you clear a bunch of cryoplasm out. So there's 803, and then there's 950, 60, 70. Wow, it's going, it's going fast. Yeah, I man. I mentioned that they were loud, right? Okay, look at that. Other than uh, a little bit of yeah, it can get stuck back here, so that's why I wanted to give it a Give it a way through. Okay, you can see this melter is basically done. So one thing I can do is continue on. Oh, continue to the next round. And that's the cryo fight right there, in a nutshell. All right, I wonder what our research is looking like. Getting at the end of the episode here. So I wanna start working towards a nuclear reactor. And that would really improve my ability. Oh yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but I conduit Arised the uh, the setup here for smelting, so we're f we're fully ready for super smelting. As soon as I get the perfect vein extraction. Okay, so surface. How how much progress have we made? Oh, a little less than half. A little less than halfway there. Which is kind of disappointing. Looks like all the molly's been filtered out. It's a lot of molly. And then chrome is well on its way. Okay, well, I'm going to wait for this to get done. And then I'm going to start... I'm going to start nuclear power, which is going to be chlorine and freeze on and the Heimel blocks. 
which I already have. So I'm I'm ready for the Heimel blocks. Yep, 256 on the dot. All right, well, that's going to have to do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.